What's up everybody, it's Conger Live. We're back again with another TMNT Mutant Madness video. Gonna go over a couple bits of news and we're gonna take a look at the new holiday event. So if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe for more TMNT Mutant Madness content. Please ninja kick that like button and leave a comment. It really helps the channel out. And with that, let's go get into it. Okay, first up on the official Discord Channel 6 news, it was announced, we knew this was coming, the 4X Gem Offer Wall promotion is happening soon. It starts on Friday, December 24th, so that's probably just one day away. For, so the whole weekend, if you start an offer in the offer wall, you get quadruple gems for a limited time. Generally, you have 30 days to complete the offers that you start during this time frame to get those rewards. Um, so we'll go through really quickly how you can do that when we get over into the game. And uh, the next piece that we want to look at is that the holiday event has begun and it goes until January 7th. There are exclusive rewards. Uh, so we'll see what kind of rewards might be available in game. So let's go take a look at that stuff right now. Okay, here we are in game and to access the offer wall, you need to go into the shop. I generally go there by clicking on my box, but you need to go over here on the bottom where it says offers, where it shows the gem offers. And you're gonna see some interesting deals. We should have some holiday deals happening right now. We have a hero bit refill, little hero bit sales. Those don't look like really um, amazing holiday deals. I thought they were supposed to have some, but down here at the bottom, free gems, this is where you go. It opens up this, uh, choose an offer, complete the requirements. It's cool, it's telling me how to do it. And then enjoy free rewards, right? So that's how it works. <laughs> that's never happened before, so that's kind of cool. Um, right now it says, selected for you, a match masters, reach arena five, and earn 293 gems. Now, um, I don't think I can do that because I've already played match masters, not on this device. Um, it does need to be device specific and like homescapes reach level 150. That sounds insane. I know homescapes is a really crappy game. Not going to do that. Uh, Ebony, the Kings you turn and complete missions to win up to 12,000 gems, but it doesn't say exactly what this is. So if you wanted to look in here, it says must complete within 60 days, play Ebony Kings return and complete missions to win. But what missions? Install Ebony, complete missions to win great rewards. Upgrade your keep to level 30 to win it all. There you go. Level 30 keep. That's probably going to take, that's why it says 60 days. That would take a long time to upgrade a keep in that type of game to level 30. I don't even know if it'd be worth doing it. But this is kind of cool that it has a kind of a breakdown. You reach level 10, you get 211 gems. Um, I've never seen an offer like this, so this is kind of cool. That it has something like this. So you have, if you have the extra time to play extra games, now of course these gems are these gem offers are going to be region specific. Um, I know some people in the states get these oil of Olay offers, um, which I don't get. Which you can get quite a bit of gems from spending some money. But you notice I don't really have a lot of good gem offers. I've ran through quite a few of them already, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do any of these. But I, I might try. Um, once the event starts, the 4X event starts. Okay, let's go take a look at the holiday event in game. Now, I haven't played any of the holiday event yet, but from what I understand, it is just like the anniversary event. So we click over here on holiday event, and my record is zero. So if I go to here, then no rankings are available yet. And so we need to go ahead and do a battle. Um, think that it starts with the exact same five that you used at the end of last time. So this is the five I was using. I need to go make sure that they all have equipment. Um, so Rat King, Technodon, Attila, Renette, and Mona Lisa. Now I know that some people are using Irma here instead of Renette, um, but let me go make sure that those guys all have equipment. So I know Attila does because I use him 
in PvP. That's good. We got Technodon and Rat King. I know they don't have equipment, so let's go ahead and equip those guys real quick. There we go. And Renette, I don't use her regularly, so equip that. And Mona Lisa, I don't think I've been using her lately, so. Now, sometimes you, you may want to make sure that you unequip other characters to equip them to try and get the best of these equipment skills. Like, if you can get uh, three, uh, stage three or stage two, if you don't have um, enough, you may want to consider that. But I don't think the equipment itself matters, just as long as you're getting the equipment skill. Okay, so we're going to go back over here to holiday event, and we're just going to run with what I had for the first time. Um, I'm not going to run through a bunch of these on the video um, just to keep it short, but we're going to go ahead and do this and see how it it works. Um, one thing you'll notice, 1.84 hit points for the soldier. That's going to be consistent. Okay, so depending on the color of the soldier and what weapon they're holding, um, but that's going to be consistent. They don't get stronger as you go through the event. So one thing I think that would really help is hopefully tanky characters spawning because they have more hit points because uh, it's not about how much damage you do it's how much damage they take so like taka here has like i think like 300 3000 hit points so that's 3000 points potential as opposed to someone like baxter which is only 1.75 so i think that part of the rng is gonna affect a little bit of it in the anniversary event we were able to kind of lock the spawning on one side um, from what i've heard is that they've kind of tried to fix that so the scores are not going to be as astronomical so to speak as they were before i know people were breaking 800,000 during the anniversary event the highest i've seen so far is over just over 600,000 uh with the new holiday event i don't know what heroes other people are using um this is like i said what worked for me really really well got me i think around 800,000 just under, it was like 797 or something like that was my highest score. Um, with these five, like once again, maybe not Renette, maybe I was using Irma for part of it. This is just the one that I used last. Um, the one thing, I reason why I was using Renette, I think is because she gives haste to everyone. And since they don't have a lot of hit points, uh, you just want to get those attacks in as fast as possible um, so that you can wipe the heroes. Um, but notice that we're running back and forth from left to right a lot more than um, than in the anniversary event. So that's definitely going to affect the amount of points you can get. Now, if we can keep them all spawning over here on this left side now for the rest of the match, that would really, really help increase the amount of damage we can do because we don't have to spend a lot of our time running to the other side of the rooftop. But there it is. We've got to run across. And then those Mausers don't give a lot of points. The Triceraton doesn't give a lot of points. We want tanks. We want Toka. We want Rocksteady. We want uh, Leatherhead. Because they have, the more hit points the enemy hero has, the more points you're going to be able to get off of them. So a couple different ways RNG is going to affect. That's why we get 10 runs. You may want to just pick your best five tunes and run with it. Um, they also do have some mutation heroes each day for this event, um, but I don't think that the hero boost mutation really makes a big difference, if any at all, because the enemies are one star, uh, really low power, low amount of hit points, um, so you don't need that extra damage output that a hero boost would give you. If the mutation bonus increased their will or their haste, then I would say maybe that'd be worth looking into those characters, but since that's not what it does, um, I don't really feel like uh, changing your lineup for boosted heroes is really gonna mean much or do a whole lot for you. So we'll see. So we looks like we only got 300 and something thousand. Not, not great, not like before we were getting six, 700 six and seven hundred thousand so about half the score from the anniversary event of course i'll tweak with this and as i find some better lineups i'll try and make sure i post some stuff for you guys um i know that people who are getting 
higher scores are going to try and be a little bit secretive because they want to make sure they hold a good position in the rankings. Um, but if we go to the rankings, once we've placed a score, we can see what the rewards are. So it looks like in my bracket right now, uh, 370 is the best. So not not great, but of course more people could be added to this as we go. Um, okay, that just shows him. So unfortunately you can't see all the rewards, but uh, just like before, 200 bits per first place per day. And then in the event, 1,000 bits. Um, oh, there we go, I can scroll. There's a title and a new frame. This looks like a shredder head frame, helmet frame, yeah. And then we get uh, the title, event, total winner, title, Holly. Oh, it's probably, you can't scroll, it's holiday event, winner. Okay, pretty cool. Um, I wasn't sure if they were gonna be giving out Mutagen Man as part of this, they're not, but it's a lot of bits. Uh, play this every day, even just to get up one score, because even just in your daily scores, you're getting a hundred bits in the in like the top ten, top twenty players are still getting a hundred bits or more. So uh, definitely a great place. Yeah. So it stops at twenty seven. So there's still people being added to this bracket. Um, so we can see this high score um, getting bigger. Where am I right now? After one attack. Oh, it didn't it's not even showing me. Okay. So not even showing me yet as a. Uh, It'll take a moment to do that. So that's all we got for today, guys. I hope you are excited about this holiday event. Um, good luck with winning some great rewards. And if you are going to participate in those 4X gems, make sure that you complete them as they are written uh, because it is through a third-party company that these offers are available. So if there aren't offers for you, I I, I feel bad for you. There's nothing I'm going to do, with that, do for you. Um, and maybe message Kong, but it's not up to them. It's up to the third party company. Um, so yeah, good luck, have fun and Merry Christmas. Happy holidays, happy new year.